Look at this. Probably going to be a bit uh, tough, I think. He's beautiful, though, isn't he? Mm. What piece would you like? Mm. You try one? In the middle? That yeah. little one. That one there. Keep it in your hand. There you go. In other woods. It's not bad, actually. It's a polypore. There you go. It hasn't uh, been about three years since that's fruited on that tree. There you go, stick in the woods. Yeah, that's a nice plump, plump one. And this one's a little bit skinny. But it is the same one. He was plump. Well, about three years ago, I think it was. So it should be okay. Just a little, little bit for breakfast. Chicken in the woods, sulfur polypore. Um, see, it's got pores. The mushroom's got gills. Sorry about the light. It's getting dark. So there we are. Tubes, pores, spores, habitat, deciduous trees, usually oak, which it was on oak. Oh, the dead one. The mushrooms are like old friends. They'll pop up every year in the same place because my ceiling's underneath the ground or in the tree. And it's just the fruits that come up. So you can have some, leave some for the animals. Um, and once they've opened, they've spread millions of spores anyway, so it's all good. They'll keep coming. Not doing any harm at all. Nice mm. so apparently you can only use the first third, otherwise it gets a bit tough. So let's try that bit. Oh, that's too tender. <laughs> that was really tender, wasn't it? So we're going to do These edges are a little bit squidgy, so I'm going to cut them off. Okay. Okay. Not too sure about that. So I'm going to cut it into slices. And first of all, we'll fry it, and then we'll wait a day. <laughs> But we'll, we'll prepare the rest of it. We can freeze it. It cuts well, doesn't it? It does. It's, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's getting harder this side, so that's just about right. So we're going to blanch that before we cook it, just to make sure there's no, well, I don't know, it could be dog wee or whatever. Perfect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've got two options, we're going to freeze one lot and then we're going to dry the other lot. Quickly blanch it with some boiling water, a little bit of time. And leave that to dry. Meanwhile, we've already done some, which is more or less dried. And what we're going to do with that is fry a little bit, oh, fry, it, fry all that lot, uh, just test it. Pan sizzling nicely, the butter, pop them in. Like I say, we're just going to test them, make sure we're not allergic. If you are allergic, it's just like a laxative, basically. I, just, I think sometimes some people's lips swell up. Right. Hey, we're going to find that, aren't we? Mm. How's it smell? It's very mushroomy. Very mushroomy. Pretty interesting. It's changing colour, is it? It is. Right, okay, they're starting to brown nicely. Got that. Good, it? Mm -mm -mm. Look. There you go. Hear that bacon sizzling. Pretty hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, okay. A little bit of bacon, a little bit of egg. Right, okay, hang on. From tree to frying pan. How long is it? Three minutes? Yeah, actually. <laughs> it's a bit longer, actually. Look at them. Crispy. 
I bet you're giving me the most, aren't you? <laughs> you're bigger than me. It's not, because you want me to die quicker. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Fine. I know. Give you belly ache. <laughs> Trying some? No, you betcha. What do they taste like? Okay. What do they taste like? Chicken or mushroom? Textured chicken. Absolutely gorgeous. What Seriously. What's it taste like? Mushroom. Mushroom. You're not sure, Look. are you? It's nice, really nice. Honestly. There's lots of recipes, but we'll try them straight. Yeah, just dry them slightly. Don't want it soggy paper. <laughs> We could have left it a bit longer, but we're going to do it anyway. Actually, it was more than this, but we ate it. They reduce down to nothing, don't they? Crispy. They're definitely ready. Yeah, <laughs> 